If you have hip pain that's caused by arthritis, you know how difficult even the smallest tasks are. And you also know that if you don't do anything about it, it will likely get worse. So in today's video, I wanna teach you five gentle exercises that you can do to help improve your strength, mobility, and help make sure your hips are pain-free. I'm Coach Todd with feelgoodlife.com where we teach people just like you how to get healthy, pain-free joints. If you enjoy our content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos that we release that teach you natural remedies to get healthy, strong joints. These five hip exercises when used together are some of the most powerful exercises and the reason is because each exercise targets a different part of your hip so that you can develop strength all around your hip region. The first exercise is called towel squeezes with pulses. So this is a really good exercise for strengthening the inner portion of the thigh or the adductors which connect into that hip region. So there's a few really important aspects to this exercise. Um, all you'll need is a rolled up towel, you could use a pillow. Uh, that you're going to be placing in between your knees. You can do this one from bed, you can do it on the floor like I'm doing, um, or from your couch. So what you're going to do is go ahead and lay down with your knees up at about a 90 degree angle. The towel you're going to place in between your knees. Now um, your knees are at about a 90 degree angle, your feet are flat on the ground, and then one of the most important parts to this exercise is actually tucking your pelvis in. So what I mean by that is um, most people have their pelvis rotated forward or anteriorly. And the reason that's difficult or problematic is because um, it actually puts your a muscle called the iliacus and the psoas major uh, two hip flexor muscles in a really uh, poor position and it makes them really unhealthy. So when you tuck your pelvis in, when you're doing these exercises, it'll help to create some stretch in those muscles. Um, so go ahead and when you're laying down, so the first thing you wanna think about is tucking that pelvis in, just like this. So if you can see that, look closely. So most people have their pelvis tucked like this and you can even put your hands on your hips, feel it. When you tuck it in and tighten up those that core, those abs, the, the pelvis will roll back a little bit. And you'll, you'll feel a little bit of stretch on the low back, you'll feel a little bit of stretch uh, just deep in that hip. It's really important as part of this exercise. So once that pelvis is tucked in, then you're gonna squeeze those knees together and then squeeze a little bit more just to get a little bit, of, a little bit more strength into it. Hold it for a few seconds and then release. But don't forget, keep that pelvis tilted. So, so pelvis should be tilted. And then squeeze and squeeze again. And then release. So the reason that we're doing a double squeeze is just to help cue you to make sure get to get that extra little squeeze in. So go ahead and do it again. Squeeze, make sure that pelvis is tucked in and release. Do it one more time. Squeeze, tuck the pelvis, and in. Now, if you're feeling pain in your hips while doing this exercise, there's a couple things that you can adjust. You could adjust the uh, the width of your towel. You could get a bigger towel, a couple towels rolled up together. You could get a larger pillow. That's gonna position your hip and your femur, or the thigh bone, just in a little bit different position. The other thing that you can do is, is is move your feet outwards a little bit. So if they're too tight um, and it's kind of feeling like it's hurting a little bit, try, try the exercise with your feet outward a little bit more and then squeeze in. It's gonna shift the focus, it's still on the adductors or the inner portion of the thigh, but it's gonna increase um, the requirements of your rotators, so your hip internal rotators with your feet outward. So that's that's a there's a couple of different modifications that you can try for that exercise. Again, really make sure to keep that pelvis tilted 
and then do that double squeeze. The next exercise is called towel pulses and is my, one of my favorite exercises for strengthening the outer portion of your thigh and your IT band. Remember, so the last exercise we did was the inner portion, now we're working on the outer portion. That's really one of the major benefits of these series of exercises is that it strengthens all portions of you know, around your hip. So this time we're gonna shift the uh, how the towel is folded. I actually folded it lengthwise now. And you're gonna place it underneath your, uh, your, uh, your knees. And I'm gonna get in position first. So uh, similar to last time, you wanna make sure that your pelvis is tucked in. You're gonna lean back. You can, again, do this from bed. And I have it a little bit more by my thighs. If you've got longer arms, you can keep it a little bit higher. Shorter arms, that's fine down. If your towel is too short, then you could just hold on to it like this. If it's a little bit longer, then you can crisscross them just like this. But my thighs are about five to six inches apart. So you can keep them a little bit closer. If your towel is shorter, you could keep them up wider. And then you could also adjust, just like with that last exercise, adjust your um, your leg position if it's if it's feeling a little bit odd or strange on your hips like it's putting too much torque on them so find the position that works for you um, the the goal is to strengthen the outer portion of your thigh so same thing so lean back relax your shoulders tuck your pelvis in and then um, press your thighs against the towel now if you're th your are typically your thighs are going to be stronger then just your arms, so that's one of the reasons why you can have a longer towel and you can kind of crisscross them a little bit. So then the force is going right in this part where it's crisscrossed instead of trying to get a death grip on those, uh, the ends of the towel. So go ahead, do a little crisscross, pelvis tucked in and press and press again. Now you don't need to do full force like you're trying to lift 100 pounds or something. Uh, you just need enough force to really kind of feel it in your thighs. So then you can release and then press and press again. Hold for three to four seconds and then release. Press again and press one more time and release. You'll feel it. It feels really good on your thigh. Kind of feels like it opens up the, the sacrum or the lower back quite a bit. So I'd like for you to do that for five times total. Um, remember to get that second squeeze in to help get that extra strength in and then tuck that pelvis in uh, to help release that pressure on that psoas and um, the, ilia the iliacus. So question for you, how long have you been struggling with hip pain? There's a comment section right underneath the video. I'd love to hear from you. My team would love to hear from you. And I know uh, other community members um, would like to hear from you and we'd all like to share uh, what has worked and what hasn't worked um, and share our experiences on our path to really strong, healthy joints. So go ahead and post a comment underneath this video on uh, how long you, you might have had hip pain. This next exercise is called mini hip thrusts and is a great exercise for strengthening the extensors or the, the butt muscle uh, around your hip. Now, a lot of people have issues because they're sitting too long. Uh, the front portion of their their pelvis gets weak um, and shortened. And so what strengthening the back portion helps to do is help position things uh, inside the pelvis to more of a neutral position. And um, so this exercise is really, really good for that. Let's go ahead and do it together. So you're gonna lay down on the ground. You can do this again from bed. You could do this from a couch. Uh, lay down, first things first, keep those, get those knees in that 90 degree position. My feet are about shoulder width apart, maybe slightly uh, in a little bit. Um, and then tuck that pelvis in, make sure you're tucking that pelvis in. And then your hands can be by your side and thrust up and hold, down and thrust up and hold. So you'll feel it right in those glutes, down. I like to get that one little thrust, one little hold in to make sure my body's squeezing. Keep that pelvis tucked in, thrust again down and up. So we're gonna do this 10 times. And it's just a brief little pause at the top. Down and up. And make sure that pelvis is tucked in. You're gonna feel your core engage 
as you tuck that pelvis in. Keep going. Squeeze those muscles, the glute muscles especially. At the top of each one, feel those glute muscles squeeze. And you're gonna be putting your pressure into your heels. So try to feel it right in your heels. Don't put your pressure in your toes. That's gonna to put too much uh, strain on your knees. Let's do one more together. And there we go. So that's mini hip thrusts. And the, that exercise you, you, you'll you feel right in the back of your, uh, your pelvis region or your, your glute or your butt region. Exercise number four is standing side hip lifts. There's a couple benefits to this exercise um, that are different than the last exercise that worked the outer portion of your thigh is because we're going to be raising one leg at a time. We're strengthening our legs, what's called unilaterally. So strengthening them one at a time, which helps with movements like walking up the stairs, uh, different exercises that you need to do individually with one leg at a time. And the additional benefit is that it actually improves your balance. So uh, this is what it looks like. You'll stand uh, with your feet shoulder width apart, shift your weight over to one side, and then with your legs straight, you're gonna lift it up to about 45 degrees and then drop it back down. Now you're welcome to have a chair, the back of a chair uh, right next to you so you can hold on to it just in case you were to lose your balance. Um, so go ahead and you can try this with me, standing side hip lifts, raise it up, Hold it briefly, drop it back down, then back up, and then drop it back down. I like to recommend to hold it just briefly so that you can improve your control of that hip, you know, that leg muscle. You don't need to do it fast. You do it nice and slow. And I recommend doing that five to 10 times. Then you can shift to the other side and with that leg straight, bring it up 45 degrees and drop down. 45 degrees, drop back down. Make sure that you're staying upright. You don't wanna lean over too far like this. That's gonna put you out of alignment and uh, put you in a compromised position from a balance perspective. So just stay upright just like this. Bring your hip up and then bring it down. So that side, leg hip lifts. Exercise number five is wall sits. So you want a nice wall. Um, this is the only wall that um, I can do it from with the video camera. But I recommend using a wall that doesn't have a window by it um, or curtains or whatever. But um, what you're gonna do is stand about six to 12 inches away from a wall. And then uh, you. the reason it's six to 12 is because you want your, when you're squatting down into that wall, you want to make sure your knees aren't going over your toes. You want all the pressure, the majority of pressure of your body to go into your heels so that it doesn't compromise your knees. So go ahead and um, kind of squat down into that, that wall sit. My knees are parallel and they're pointed outwards and I'm just giving a slight pressure outward. So a lot of times people buckle their knees in, make sure those knees are parallel and just a slight pressure outwards. And then the pressure is going into my heels. So I can, you can't see it because it's not on the camera, but I can lift my toes up. I can wiggle them around. The pressure is going into my knees. So pressure going outward and pressure going downward into your knees or into your heels rather. Then you can rest your back against the wall. And what this exercise does is strengthen the quads, which are part of the hips, as well as the glutes. You can hold this one for 20 to 30 seconds. If this is too difficult, say you're at a 45 degree angle, just come up a little bit. It's, that's perfectly fine. You're still strengthening your quads and your glutes. As you develop more strength, you can squat down just a little bit more, making sure that your knees aren't going, going over your toes. They're not pushing or going too far forward. Make sure you maintain a, an upright posture. And then it's also beneficial to tuck that pelvis in as you're sitting in the squat. So you can even tighten, those, tighten up those abs to tuck that pelvis in even more. 
And so that exercise is called wall sits. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed those five exercises that you can do every day to help strengthen your hips and decrease the arthritic pain that you might feel. So if you enjoyed this video, then we have a special free gift for you uh, called Nine Natural Remedies for Joint Pain. Just go ahead and head over to feelgoodlife.com or you can click one of the links in the description below to claim your free gift. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any new videos that we post on how to get healthy, strong, pain-free joints. Again, I'm Coach Todd. Thanks so much for joining me uh, here at feelgoodlife.com.